Welcome to the Canva Classroom, everybody. Today's tutorial in Canva is a viewer request on masking. I'll be sharing how to transform this silhouette image into one that has an image within it. For my document type, I'm choosing 1920 by 1080 pixel because that is the most convenient size for me. But you can choose any document type that you like. You're going to search for hair vector image. Once you've done that, find this image in the elements tab. Size this image to the height of your document type as long as it fits widthwise. Leave your background white. Next up, you're going to want to find an image to place behind this vector image. I searched for golden glittering stars and found this Canva Pro image. If you have a free account, you can use any free image you prefer. Size this image. After a while, you will find the best technique that works for you, but I have found that it is best for me to size the image as small as possible to fit in all the nooks and crannies with only a little bit of waist on the outside of this vector image. You may need to make several adjustments before you find the right alignment. Here, I double click the image to make it a little bit larger by pulling the round dot in the corner. I will send it backwards to check on it again. For this image, I'm actually going to choose to ignore the little hook corner piece here and leave it transparent. Now it's time to crop and cover with shapes. We will be using rectangles and circles for this. You're going to want to cover as much of the photograph as you can by sizing the rectangles and circles. You will still have little bits that aren't covered by the shapes. That's okay because we're going to use an app inside of Canva to help cover the remainder of the picture. To do this, go to the More button and find the Draw Beta app. Choose marker and white because you're going to want it to match the background. Before I do that, I do want to fix one thing. I want to right click this oval and send it backwards. That way the oval is underneath her hair. And I'm just going to make an adjustment here. And duplicate and squish in the oval back. This just helps when we're doing some painting here. Send it backwards. Okay. Now, let's grab the marker. Increase the size a little bit. Increase the size of the zoom. And make this white. And what I'm going to show you is that it doesn't matter if like in our hair, whether you get the white there or not, because we're going to be sending this to the back. I'm going to get the easy stuff first. And then we'll work, we'll get the harder stuff. Okay. Are you ready? So we need to, I'm just using my mouse here. I don't have any special equipment, just my mouse. If you have a tablet and stylus, then you can use that and it might be easier for you. For me, the mouse works just fine and I'm trying to get this edge. I think I need to shrink my size. There we go. And now I need to work over here on this shoulder. I'm 
I'm just going around the lips, around her hair. And again, I'm covering the hair, but it does not matter because I will be sending this all backwards. So everything that I'm covering will come forward with the outline. There is something going on here with the eye that I need to take care of. Okay, I think everything looks good. I'm going to click done. If I'd messed up, I could have used an eraser, but I don't think I did. You can click this and bring it to the front. Let's shrink this down and see how it looks. If everything is white except for your image with the photograph, then click download. PNG, the page that you want, you do not need to download it with a transparent background. You will upload this image back into Canva and remove the background at this point. The free alternative is remove.bg, but keep in mind that this won't download as a high quality like the tool within Canva. If desired, find a background image for your new design. I used one called Galaxy in Outer Space. Right click and set as background. Move your newly uploaded mass PNG image to where you would like it on the background image. Take special care to bring in the side so it doesn't take over the background. If yours didn't turn out like this one, keep practicing. I would love to see all of your beautiful designs. If you would like, you can create a masked image similar to this one and tag it with hashtag Canva Classroom Challenge on Instagram. Thank you so much for learning with the Canva Classroom. If you like this Canva tutorial and want to see more like it, be sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss out on future lessons. I'll see you next time. Bye.